I'd like to introduce a friend of mine, Jamie Lula. And uh, Jamie and I go way back and uh, actually we um, spent time at Asilomar together in 2008 and he was the uh, music director. And um, we've just been fast friends ever since. And um, his music has gotten me through some very interesting times and he is a, a great consciousness. So I introduce my brother, Jamie Lula, to give us a little bit of his sweet song. Jamie? Thank you all. Good morning, Grants Pass. Like I say, I've passed you by before, but I have not been to you in person. Um, I'm gonna play something a little up and then I'm gonna bring it back down before our friend Steven speaks. So uh, this is a Floyd Lula song um, that I hope can be a mantra for you as we all move through this. Sunshine All right. 
Sing that every morning, no matter how you wake up. And I promise you, something will shift. A prayer sung is twice prayed, y'all. Um, so where is it? We're all moving through this quarantine. What a great opportunity to 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 listen deeper and find out what's calling us. Something's calling me. Something's calling me. Something's calling me. Little bit deeper than I've ever been before. Feels like I'm walking on marbles. Can't still the earth beneath my feet. Is my head in the clouds? My naked legs left dangling. I can feel my heart begin to pound. Everybody said something's calling me a little bit deeper than I've ever been before. Something's calling me a little bit deeper than I've ever been. Long dark night, my soul, it wanders. Can't see the light that moves me. If God is everything and everywhere that I belong, Spirit gently wakes me from my sleep. Something's calling me a little bit deeper than I've ever been before. Something's calling me a little bit deeper than I've ever been before. Oh Lord. Calling me a little bit deep. 
birth than I've ever been before. Patience is calling me a little bit deeper than I've ever been, I've ever been before. I want to ask you what keeps calling you. What keeps calling you? What keeps calling you? A little bit deeper than you've ever been before. God is calling me. And I'm grateful like I never. Thank you for calling me. Thank you for calling me. Wow. Wow. Ah. Oh. How good it is to hear the ministry of Jamie Lula coming, coming through. And thank you, Jamie, for that awesome demonstration of your connection. And, uh, you know, if you, if you could just, if we could just sit with that for just a second, that's so, so wonderful. Well, my theme this month is listen to your heart. And today's title is The Path Made Clear. You know, when the vision is clear, the decision is easy. And surrender is the key. We're being asked to surrender in all sorts of new ways during this experience. So, we're asked to let our faith be a lamp unto our feet. Let our faith lead the way. Let our faith guide us so we don't trip and stumble. And there's been some challenges with trusting our faith, at least mine lately. With everything that's going on, I've had to um, really go into immediate prayer with some things. God goes before us and makes all the crooked places straight if we will allow it to. So we have to open to that divine guidance right now. We have to trust it. We have to lean on it. And it is calling us to go deeper right now. And it's interesting because there's a lot of information trying to get our attention. And I have to keep reverting back to what I believe. So what is the, the Tao of your life? What is the meaning? What is the reason? for you being here. And there is a reason, there's a big reason. It may be so big and you're living it all the time that you don't even know what it is. You know what I'm talking about. You know, I, uh, when I saw the title of this talk, you know, my path made clear. Uh, I'd like you to try this affirmation the next time that you feel that something is blocking you. Maybe you're trying to get somewhere in a hurry and you know that the person who doesn't have anywhere to go gets right in front of you. <laughs> Isn't that interesting how that always works out? But I use this affirmation and I say, my path is made clear before me. 
And be careful when you say that because um, it's interesting to see everybody get out of your way. <laughs> But when you can affirm that, especially if you do feel blocked, your path will be lit. The direction will be given to you. But we have to sit, sit still and connect. It's when we get out of alignment that we get speed wobbles and we go too fast and we may trip and fall. So Ernest Holmes in The Power of Idea, page 94 says, as you listen to the divine wisdom within you, you will receive your inspiration and guidance. As you speak your word, think your thoughts, or make your affirmations with complete conviction, you will discover that you are using a power that actually is and that actually does respond to you. The spirit within you is God, the infinite source of your intelligence and wisdom and creative power. Again, that was Ernest Holmes from The Power of Idea, page 94. So we need to go within and listen, and the answers will come. There's times lately that I felt um, a little out of my mind. <laughs> and I think you know what I'm talking about. But that is there to draw me back within. You know, over the course of our life, we are presented with certain crossroads, certain forks in the road on our path choice points in how to proceed. And we are at such a choice point right now. So how does life get to be the way it is? Through the decisions and choices that we make in every moment. Now there's really no way to go back and to change a choice we've made, but we can look to the future and make different choices and things will get different. It can be challenging to know which path to follow sometimes. But if you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. We can become overwhelmed by the options and uncertainties before us, but it is precisely in these moments that we are invited to go deeper to follow our practice and to turn within and listen to the wisdom we find in the silence. So what's calling you to go deeper? Here's another quote from Ernest Holmes from The Power of Good, Lesson 10, page 49. It says, there is within ourselves the answer to every question and the solution to every problem. That spirit makes the demand and will answer that demand from within. When we allow ourselves to wait for the mental storm to die down, he said again, when we allow ourselves to wait for the mental storm to die down, be still and know is the secret of guidance as it is of every problem in life. A perturbed mind can never get the correct answer. A stilled mind always can because the answer comes from God within. Again, that was Ernest Holmes, Power for Good, Lesson 10, page 49. And then I took a look at the science of mind, page 331, and it says, we came from life and are in life, so we are one with life. And we know that instinctive life within, which has brought us to the point of self-recognition, still knows in us 
the reason for all things, the purpose underlying all things. And we know that there is nothing in us of fear, doubt, or confusion, which can hinder the flow of reality to the point of our recognition. We are guided daily by divine intelligence into paths of peace, wherein the soul recognizes its source and meets it in joyful union, in complete at one meant. So we're asked to court the presence. What does that mean? In order to access the wisdom, Ernest Holmes suggests we court the presence and direct the law. This is attained by deep connection with the spirit of life through meditation and creative surrender. We become completely consciously aligned with the divine love and infinite wisdom. So what can we do when we're asked to slow down and we don't wanna? <laughs> well, we're being forced to slow down and I know there's a lot of I don't wanna energy out there right now. It reminds me of um, Kenny Loggins said, trust what is bringing you joy because it's taking you someplace. Where is your love taking you? Where is your peace taking you? We need to have faith in the law. Having courted the divine and seeking the wisdom within, the path is made clear when we trust and have faith in the law. The one will not lead us wrong. It cannot. It is always acting according to law. Divine right action and order are always happening. It is the word of God. Psalms 119. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So in conclusion, we need to stop thinking about the difficulty, whatever it is, and start thinking about God instead. Focus on the evidence of positive changes that are happening, happening everywhere. Because where our attention is, there you are. Our attention is on the challenge. We are part of that challenge. If our attention is on the solution, we are part of the solution. We need to empower only what we want to co-create in our life, not the things we don't want. Being one with God is a majority. Trust and the path will be made clear. And so it is. So it's, Time to go into prayer, so I invite you to close your eyes if that's comfortable for you, or take a soft focus out a window or something in your immediate area that will allow you to go deeper. And let's remember who we are. So I invite you to bring to the forefront of your consciousness what you choose to believe that the energy of creation is to you, whatever name you choose to give it be God or Christ consciousness, source energy or great spirit. That's your business, whatever you choose to call it. But I think we can agree that there is a power. It is always on, it is always listening. It is always recycling itself and putting itself into everything that it is. And each one of us is a divine energy of that life made manifest. Each one of us is the point of spirit on the edge 
of experience, a cutting edge. So I invite you to connect, to unify with the power that created you right here and right now. And as we move our consciousness into that power, let us look at the world in a new light. Let us be the healing we seek. We give great thanks on this Memorial Day for all those that have gone before us to lay the way straight, who have given so much of the ultimate gift. We know that something wonderful is happening beyond any challenge. We align with that right here and right now. So I invite you to bring to the forefront of your consciousness what you choose to see. What is your healing? What is your revealing of the truth? And can you see it as completely healed right here? Perfect, whole, and complete. How good it is to know that something is moving, something is happening. There is healing here. And we are so blessed. My heart overflows with the gratitude of the universe being so blessed by this time, space, and place. I bless everything, even the challenges. For as we send a blessing to our challenges, they become miraculous healings. And I invite that awareness of a miraculous healing into everything that we are, right here and right now. For I believe and know and trust that it is so. So I release this directly into that living, loving law of mind where I know it returns instantaneously, filled to overflowing with the healing of the universe. And for this, I give great thanks as we affirm this together by saying, and so it is.